Hey, this is Ron Fournier with AP Race Rundown. There's not a lot of job security in presidential politics because there's not a lot of time in presidential politics. Barack Obama reminded us of that this week. Jim Johnson is a guy who's supposed to be helping him pick his vice presidential running mate. Good guy to do it on paper. Johnson had done it for uh, John Kerry, been a Washington insider, he knows all the ins and outs. The problem is being a Washington insider this campaign is not a good thing, especially if you're a former CEO who made a lot of money in the subprime mortgage business, which Jim Johnson did. Soon as that story broke, Barack Obama didn't waste more than two news cycles to cut Jim Johnson loose and say, I'm moving on to other people who can do my vetting. A couple campaigns ago, I'm sure Barack Obama would have stuck with this longer, but the problem is the news cycles are so quick. You go from eight o'clock in the morning with somebody being named your, your running mate chooser to noon, there's a controversy, and by eight o'clock you gotta cut him loose. We've seen this in other things with Barack Obama. He did it with uh, his pastor, uh, the Reverend Wright. Uh, he first distanced himself from him, waited a few more news cycles. As soon as the controversy came up again, he cut him loose. John McCain's got the same problem, like, like Barack Obama. They both are portraying themselves as Washington outsiders, even though they both work in the Senate. And they both are supposed to be campaign reformers and, and, and political reformers in Washington. Well, you can't have any dirt around you if that's the image you want to have. So John McCain, as soon as people start talking about the fact that he had lobbyists in his campaign, he imposed a new set of rules and kicked a bunch of people off his campaign simply for the fact that they lobbied the federal government. Barack Obama's going to have the same issue, and it's going to be something they're both going to have to deal with because how do you run a presidential campaign without having consummate Washington insiders running it? And how do you want to run a campaign that's anti-Washington when you have consummate Washington insiders running it? That's going to be the dilemma we're going to be seeing with both these candidates throughout the campaign. I'm Ron Fournier with the AP Race Rundown.